though, smoke more of the weeds apparently doesn't spell it out enough. I'm telling you, use marijuana however possible. And I endorse that message. Back to you, Drizzle. Yeah. Weeds 2024. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, it is a Thursday night here on your Liberty Radio. And that, of course, means it is time to get fact harder with the major high Yona and uh, oh, yeah. myself, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Hustle. Uh, Hustle hard. In these here meme wars. Uh, it is Thursday, June 27th, 2024 in the year of our clownishness. It is Yona. It is the night of the big fight. Who, uh, who did you call in? Uh, who'd you call in to the bookie with uh, for this evening? Who'd you put your money on? Um, well, in this case, my money is on the biggest loser because I don't see any winners out of tonight's production. Um, I think the biggest loser definitely going to be CNN. I was kind of thinking that too. And there is no winners because like I've, I've seen some really fucking lame. I mean, really fucking lame like NPC action filler shit on some video games. Yeah, yeah. Shit going on right now. Worst, most boring as shit. It's so boring. Nana's just ripping farts out loud. Yeah. And you know it's bad when Nana's like, wow, Nana. Yeah. That chili ain't sitting right on me. You, you change, know get, what? Get, get up there and change the channel. Put it back on that Billy Mays infomercial. You know yeah. what I noticed in like the the three minutes or whatever the 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 three excruciating minutes that we were tapped into it. Uh, excuse me, we were tapped into the Fresh and Fit feed. We weren't uh, we That's weren't right. breaking any laws. CNN, fucking right. come after us! I dare you. But you know what I noticed, Jonah. It was it was very brightly lit, right? There was a lot of uh, a lot of facial animation uh, from Joe Biden, right? Like it, almost like it was uh, like he thought he was he was on a on a stage, you know, like uh, acting in in a role. Like it was kind of almost over exaggerated. Like if you Honestly. were on if you were on Broadway, right? Because you want to make sure that the people in the cheap seats get the same quality of performance that the folks right up in front of the stage get. Right. So you, you go over the top a little bit. I really felt like when I seen the both of them, their, their heads side by side, kind of egg shaped like heads, but with the skin that almost disembodied, like, but they basically look like two testicles in the same wrinkly scrotum. I mean, because, like, Trump is really bringing that scrotum facial skin energy, just like Biden. Yeah. Whether it's scratch and sniff or, or Cheeto dick, really getting that scrotum face. Uh, is that even a... that That's a thing. Scrotum face? Yeah, scrotum face. Well, like, yeah. I, I mean, you've got... I mean, dude, with the chin and the... Yeah. Just that, all of the signs are there, man. The scrotum earlobes. It, it, it scrotum all over the face, man. I mean, it, 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 it's a scrotum yeah. decision like Gorsuch and um, Coney Bear. Anyways, yeah. you know, don't don't get me started on the latest thing. This I have been keeping up with the SCOTUS and the fucking descent from <laughs> the SCOTUS Samuel and the SCOTUS. Alito. And we went from scrotum face to SCOTUS Supreme Court decisions that yeah. I don't even want to talk SCOTUS about. SCOTUS right disgrace. Now, but, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the, the Facebook. Yeah, I, I said I'm not going to talk about it. I'd rather mention Ukraine. Oh, again. is that we always? It, that was the, always the Facebook Ukraine. case where the dude had had his like meme taken down or something, uh-huh. and he yeah. fucking he sued uh, he sued Facebook, and it went all the way to the Supreme Court or some and shit. They just I don't said, remember. Fuck your freedoms. Fuck your First yeah. Amendment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I did I did want well, to mention Ukraine. It was I, here's here's I don't I don't think they ever explicitly stated it anywhere in the in the published opinion. 
But if I had to take a guess at what goes through a psychopath's mind on a daily basis, uh, I would guess that the reasoning was that because it happened during COVID, uh, which, you know, our leaders did tell us we needed to assume a warlike footing in order right. to, to battle the deadly virus COVID and make sure that it didn't extinct the entire human species, right? So they were like, well, you know, they were making wartime decisions because we were at battle with a deadly enemy. So, you know, mistakes were made. But you still can't fucking do it. Yeah, it just, it all smells like balls at this point. It looks like balls, smells like balls. Uh, the production is balls. The content is balls. Um, it's balls deep. I mean, um, but you know what, folks? Your results may vary at home. Regardless, fuck it, we ball. Yeah. Or or to my uh, Roman legions out there and you Hippolytes, you dig? Um, is it um, the Rumabo Nospartium? Nospartium, That's right. yeah. That's right. Rumabo Nospartium. Fuck it, we ball. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, to find out more, fuck around. So uh, back to the scrotum face debate here. Um, I mean, you, you've got a literal... New York City Democrat clowning as a Republican. And then you've got Joe Biden, the most bought out Republic, corporate Republican from Delaware, um, LARPing as a Democrat. Everything upside down. They're both octogenarian getting their asses wiped by other people. The only difference is, you know, Trump is shitting on golden toilets with golden rims. Right. Um, or golden diapers if he's, you know, mobile. Um, just keep the birds away from Right, him. right, right. And he didn't, he didn't have to marry the babysitter because uh, he had uh, Epstein go and uh, call his buddy Nygaard for Melania. And That's they right. just did a business deal. Bam. Yeah. Bam. Instant wife. Just money, yeah. I Instant mean, you know, hot I wife, because you you have to admit she's pretty fucking hot. You know, um, when you pay for pussy, it's it's on so many different levels, on 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 what you get and the status and everything else. Um, but the payment can take many forms, oh, not yeah. just necessarily money. Um, and, and that's where you get into, you know, what is a succubus? What is an yeah, incubus? A lot, of, a lot of women marry for status, you know. You know, because they're succubus and incubus. The difference being incubus is more like VH1 music. Am I right? Um, whereas succubus is definitely more MTV. I mean, you know, to harken back to cable TV days. But people just use Roku or, you know, a fire stick or something, right? And then you get a app on your phone to change the TV, use your phone as the remote. And... <sighs> remote control Oregon. There you go. There, there's your hashtag. I, I got to keep up with these. Yeah. Hang, hang on just a second. All right. Remote. I've been thinking oh, I'm going to have oh. to get with six Bam. and see if we can figure out a Bam. way to resurrect that classic MTV game show, Remote Control. You remember yeah. that? That shit Fuck was yeah. a lot of fun, man. There, there was actually entertaining things, you know, late 80s, early 90s, you know. And then it just, everything just, you know, you know I think where it went bad? Carson Fox Daly. Network. Carson Daly. When, when Carson oh, Daly well, obviously. popped on to MTV, <laughs> Yeah, when straight dude, Carson shit. Daly is the fucking kiss of death. Everything Carson Daly touches turns to shit. Turns to complete fucking shit. Yeah. He's got the Midas touch. Yeah, in reverse. God damn. Yeah, he's he's fucking uh, Dick Clark in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, and have you seen Carson Daly lately? Like, 
Bro, Carson. No, Bailey and I don't want to. Like, um, like I think like Mickey Rourke. Um, Nick Nolte. He's DUI gotten puffy. Picture? Yeah. With with you know the the Nick Nolte DUI Bumley um Boogaloo shirt picture or Boogaloo shirt, you know the Hawaiian print, or you got the um. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, he's he's about Mickey Rourke. Just like I'm like, whoa, like something go wrong at the uh little too much nip and not enough tuck on one like could be. Or did you have a stroke or it were you always that unattractive? I don't want to say ugly. Oh, I guess I just did. Uh, anyways, back to you, Drizzle. Well, that that is not uh, the the narrative that was going around back in the '90s. Apparently, he was uh, uh, considered for uh, the sexiest man alive at one point, Yona. Well, you know, that's I'll, because I'll not have a... you speak ill of uh, our glitterati. To be fair, that's because the United States has a huge, growing throbbing gay population that's totally into Carson Bailey. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt that one bit. Let's add, I bet death to tyrants knows. We should ask him. I mean, if you like watched the late show with Carson Daly after he left MTV, probably got like a Biden bumper sticker or something. Bless your heart. It's adorable, you know. I mean, I, I delivered uh, three huge fucking buckets of Tidy Cats brand kitty litter. The kind that are like, god damn, must have been like 35 pounds each. Oh, damn. So it was a you big know, bucket. I, I, I had to carry them two hands one at a time because I'm not like Lou Ferrigno or anything. Incredible Hulk type. So, back and forth, back and forth. And of course, there's this bitch is herding fucking cats, man. It's just pet dander. Just so much pet dander on this fucking porch. It reminded me of like, you ever been like under like a really thick grove of pine trees where they just keep dropping all the fucking pine needles to where it's like spongy. Yeah. When you walk on it, because it's just five fucking dried little like red pine needles everywhere, like thick, you know, it's like a mat of pine. Anyway. Well, yeah, you're in the Piney Woods. You know exactly yeah. what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Only, you know, it smells like hairball instead of pine cone. Nice. Um, Crazy cat one in the house, huh? But at least I did not smell the dreaded smell of, like, cat piss cake. Well, that's why so, they have the litter, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, and she's going through it. So she's doing her job. She's really, really, she's going through so much fucking cat urine and feces. She should literally call herself a feline sanitation engineer. I mean, that that's the kind of thing you get on the door on your plaque. Well, hopefully she's uh, repurposing that into like compost and stuff. Uh, you know, otherwise it's just going to well, complete yeah. waste. In fact, hopefully she's got a house that's right on the river where she can go out on a dock and have barges pull up. That way she can dump the kitty litter just directly onto a barge with a drop chute right uh -huh. there on the river. You know, I mean, we had, I'm sure uh, she can probably collect close to uh, at least half a ton within two weeks. Oh, have yeah. a barge pull up. There you go. Just Dude, we had right. uh, we had Biscotti bravely drop out of the the Odyssey live stream and go and check in on the debate, and uh, he said that he can confirm it is still retarded. So we're good. Thank you, Biscotti. Appreciate you. I wonder if it's the least viewed thing officially of the government that's ever been it's got to be the least viewed debate ever and, I I, and know, they've man. been pushing it they I, I i put it on regular radio today and they were pushing it on the radio of course like, they were and then i looked at the newspaper and i was like wow newspapers balls deep on this shit and i'm like newspapers all in 
radio's all in, TV's all in, CNN's like, hey, guys, remember us from the 1900s and the 1980s and the 1990s with the movie theaters and the right. radio and the newspaper. You remember the most, most trusted back. news before uh, we completely Come destroyed back. ourselves? We're, yeah. we're doing it again. We're, we're going to pretend to have a democracy back together. and elections again. Yeah, it's going to be a let's, great time. Let, everyone, just think back 30 years ago. We're going to pretend like That's none right. of this shit's That's happened. Right. We're going to do years. the anniversary edition of the tour. It'll be like nothing oh ever happened. God. Come on. Can I get four whole fried chickens and a Coke? Yona, please? Yona, come on. You know it's better to hold on to the good memories than the bad ones. Come on. Yeah. Bro. So, I, now I can tell my story. Go for um, it. So, I realized as I was smoking weed, taking my victory lap in the big Silverado beast <laughs> that um, I was on the Kentucky side of the beautiful Ohio river. And I passed two different like Dukes of hazard, like Roscoe Coltrane cop hideouts where they literally have like cut a hole into the bushes where they can back their car in and they've got, trees on the top and both I know sides what you're talking about and went by and one of them pulled out and followed me all the way to the county line and and I was like you know I kept looking down at my bowl and I was like man there's still like a hit down in there that motherfucker is following behind me ah fuck it I'll just roll the windows down I get this last hit in and then boom oh there's the county line and he turns around by motherfucker so then I'm in Bracken County and I'm like, you know what? I really need to get back into Ohio, but I'm not going all the way back into fucking Cincinnati. And God damn, it's another 50 some fucking miles to Maysville Bridge. Huh. And I'd have to get back on the AA highway, which means state boys and everything else. And man, this is really good weed. I'm getting really fucking paranoid. Aha! Here we are, George Clooney Town. Fuck yeah! And so I, I, I'm like, I can use the Augusta Ferry because see, George Clooney and his mom, Rosemary Clooney, and the, right. they're all from Augusta, Kentucky, which is just upriver from Cincinnati. Oh, um, that's right. I forgot he's a hillbilly. Yeah. 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 Oh, bro, oh, brother, where art there? Uh, thou art in um, Augusta. <clears throat> so, um, and uh, Augusta has just always been like one of my most favorite towns when i think of kentucky i think of augusta so um it's just like an original kentucky town frozen in fucking time perfectly preserved all the shops are still open there's fucking money everywhere um because clooney's are rich you know and george clooney's got four different houses there and then they have the regatta he's got his yacht docked there and Anyway, so Augusta. So basically, they run the town. Well, they got all the money. Well, right? Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Like yeah, in, that's how it in works. Winchester, it was the fucking Glass family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's the same thing with Nashville and the Gaylords. Um, yes, they are literally the Gaylords. Yeah, oh, um, I know. Um, so I can't make this shit up. That's how it works. You know, if I'm talking too fast, I'll go slower. Um, take notes if needed. Uh, so uh, figure it out. Uh, so, anyways, we're um. Uh, I, I get down to the ferry and like I'm in the big monster and I don't want to get the tires up on the curb. So I'm, it's one way streets to get over to the ramp down to the ferry. And um. And so you know I'm pulled over and I'm right at the ramp. There's just one car in front of me, and me, and. Right when we pull up, right when I pull up behind this vehicle, uh, the ferry, the ferryman was on the Ohio side and he had just made it to the Ohio side and dropped somebody off and just immediately pulled up chains and is docking back across the river. And it don't take him, I don't know, five, six minutes across the river. Empty, maybe five minutes. 
because he's riding high. He's got no weight. Right. There's no cables or wires or nothing. You're on a fucking free-floating boat that could just decide to turn left and, hey, let's go down the river, then we'll come back. Yeah, I mean, Whatever they want to do, you're at their mercy. So don't piss off the captain. And, and, and yeah, so I'm, I'm waiting at the top of the ramp. Fucking cop rolls up next to me, rolls down his passenger window, hollers out to me, says, hey, uh, Can can you move your truck over? Are you you waiting to cross on the ferry? I was like, yeah. Then I look over and there's like literally right next to my fender on the right hand side of the big white sign that says ferry parking only. Um, but anyways, it's like <clears throat> it's like, um, well, can you move your truck over and? Uh, well, hang on, my, my dog is just going crazy. And then I look at the side of his fucking SUV and it's a canine mm, control. Joy. Oh, yeah. It, fuck, man. Weed's totally legal in Ohio because I got pulled over the other day in Ohio for a, a speeding ticket. And he was like, that's some pretty good weed. Just wrote me the ticket and went on. I'm like, wow, that's weird. It's really weird for a cop. I'm really getting super trooper vibes now. But it, so, anyways, I can well, see cops, do, cops smoke weed. Well, fuck yeah. So and I other can see Ohio. Too. Yeah, I can see it from where I'm at. And and this motherfucker's looking at me, and he is literally, what's the word for it when somebody's like their identical doppelganger? Mm -hmm. This guy is a dead fucking spitting image of Billy Mays. I mean, it, it, I'm, I'm waiting for him to nice. fucking oxy, oxy clean nice. my fucking whips with Scooby-Doo looking for the weeds. And right about that moment, I hear whoop, whoop, whoop. And I look behind him. I'm thinking, oh, no, it's probably more cops. It's an ambulance. And the ambulance needs down the street. And not now he has to move. So he's like. And 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 so that without saying anything, he just immediately pulls up because they're all one way streets. So he's got to go down two blocks and then he can circle around and, and come back, circle back around and come yeah. back. To harass me. And he 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 pulls up. Ambulance goes by, and right about that time, I look down. Fuck, fairy's here, man. It's like I'm gonna be pulling on this some bitch in like sixty seconds. Heart's beating out of my chest. I'm like, all right. I got to take video. So I turn the fucking camera on. I'm like, all right, I got my five bucks out. Just took this ferry not too long ago. Holy shit, it's seven bucks now. What did it go up to? Not Holy shit. It fucking must be because of the debate. Inflation, inflation increased because of the debate. Biden inflation has fucking gotten everything. So anyways, yep. I put it all on film. Got us a couple time. weeks ago. Anyways, I, I pull on the boat. Guy throws up the chains, and I, I prop the phone up on the dash so it's hands free. And I look around behind me, and right as we pull off into the river, there's motherfucker out standing with Scooby Doo. Got his hand on the dog, and I'm like, God damn! I literally feel like I'm starting the Underground Railroad now. Crossing the Ohio to escape the weeds slavery back to a weeds free state where the prohibition has been lifted. Technically. Technically. Even Kinda though, like, like federally, nothing has changed. You know, you nothing you're at all. You're supposed to be able to go to anywhere and buy weed in Virginia, but you still can't. Same thing I thought with it Ohio. Was, uh, but you still can't. Well, I thought there was in Virginia they were gonna give like five uh, companies the ability to to put out dispensaries, but for the entire state, happened. right? But still, nothing's happened, right? Even with that, it's all talk and no action. You still can't. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, I don't know. It's it's not legal here in Texas, but you can. You can still buy it in a store. 
I don't well, know how that works. For people that were wondering what happened to me, I, I got in the middle of a six-day frenzy. But basically working like... Oh, yeah. I guess you weren't like, talking uh, to anybody else either. 17 or 18-hour days and then taking a three-hour nap here and a three-hour nap there at a rest area, just leaning the seat back, and then back at it and just hang, 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 grind, 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 grind. And the whole time I had all these rhythms and shit playing in my head. And then when I finally got home one time, first time, because I've over the last day and a half, I've managed to come home and three minutes there, and four minutes there, and three minutes there, kind of start putting this whole song together. Um, and I was like, I've already got the video. And I'm making my escape from Billy Mays to fucking Super Cop and his trusty sidekick Scooby Doo. And and I, I put it all together and just finished uh making a new song and a video and everything just in time. And you know, unfortunately I had to cancel my uh peasants podcast this Monday night because again right. I back against the wall. Had to make uh, 500 bucks in six days. But that's net, not gross. And, and that's the, you know, when you talk about net and gross, that's the difference because when you're driving a vehicle that gets 14 miles to the gallon right. versus a vehicle that gets about 49 miles to the gallon, so why you know, why was the car in the shop so damn long? Because they had to order because when it was traded in, for the first time ever they saw a vehicle that had four dented rims. Huh. Never seen that on a vehicle before. Not even the worst wrecks do you ever have four rims that are dented. So they we knew that one rim was dented because it was dented on the outside. The other three were dented on the inside. Uh, but anyways, oh, that um, takes skill. Yeah, we still don't know. We still don't know. But um, so they got the one rim, and they were able to get that rim from New Jersey, and it only took a week for that to come in. But to get the other three rims, they had to be ordered from um, Oxnard. Um, that's with a hard D in California. Right. California. Yeah. Yeah. L L A. Um, it's where, uh, and, uh, the TV show Alf took place. I believe somebody fact check right. me alien life form. Um, that's right. and please be careful with your cats. He will eat them. They are a delicacy on the planet. Melmac. Anyways. Um, <laughs> it's true. Um, Alf is not your friend cats. Um, and, and that's why Alf has the the weird penis nose because he eats pussy. So um, makes sense. Enough about yeah. Alf. It, it it really does make sense. Um, shout out to NBC for putting that sitcom on um, television. Uh, honestly, I mean, there the are first, worse things to watch on a Thursday night. You know, I thought. Three's Company was the single most retarded thing on TV until Bosom Buddies came out. And that's when I first remember seeing Tom Hanks. Mr. Tom Hanks, that's right. Um, wearing and, a dress. Uh, Peter and Scolari was the, right. the scully to his molder. Yeah. That's right. Giving away my age now. Detachable organ. <laughs> there, there are people watching who have no fucking clue what we're talking about. <laughs> so, anywho, um, oh, I, I would say you share it, but I have to share it. That's right, because I the, they haven't sent an update since the last one, which is uh, surprising. When you pay for software, you expect shit to get fixed in a timely manner, but I guess not. Now I had it queued up. Oh, hold on, with hold no on. No commercials. What am I looking for? And you fucker. Well, I'm just gonna let it skip. Oh, is it already playing? Oh, hang on. Live All radio, right. ladies and gentlemen. 
So I had this queued up. Mm -hmm. I'd already gone through the rigmarole with the commercials. And when I added it on here and went to play it, it had already gone back to the reset screen and made me do the commercials again. So, All right. Good job, Rumble. At least you're back up. Well, yeah, because it was probably during the time when Rumble was not actually available. Right. We'll get into they, that they, in a minute. They fixed that switch. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get into that. But anyways, um, I just have to say before I start this, uh, rest in peace, uh, Billy Mays. Um, but wait, there's more. Oh, it went up. It's seven bucks. Damn you, Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm on the ball. I'm on the ball. Are you on the ball? Wow, what's this? It's new OxyClean detergent. Get on the ball. And you'll never have to pour or measure detergent. Again. So how does it work? Just place the OxyClean detergent ball in the blue toss and go dispenser. Just toss and go. It stays in your washer while it cleans over 25 loads. Laundry just got easier. This is all I need. 25 loads. <laughs> That's great. That's right. It's so easy, even your kids can do laundry. Now how do you know that's not going to dissolve more than what you need? Its patented formula delivers oxygen and detergent throughout your wash cycle. Right. 
car, the Jupiter Jack is the only system I use because I can safely talk and drive at the same time. It's compact and portable and works with any phone in any car. Jupiter Jack transmits your conversation through the speakers of your car. Instead of hearing music, you hear the other person. Using a cell phone and driving isn't safe. And in some states, it's even illegal. It's so easy. I just plug it into my phone and start talking. And I feel so much safer because I don't have to hold my phone while I drive. You can spend up to $100 on a complicated Bluetooth system. But call now and get the hands-free portable Jupiter Jack system for just $10. That's right, just $10. Have your credit card ready and call 1 800 705 But call now. Operators are standing by. Jack with all That's of today's right. orders. But you've got to call now. 1 800 705 That's good money right there. But there's not that much traffic, especially coming oh. from the Ohio. Stop it. Coast. It's going to go. I'll stop. Oh, wow. That was close. Oh, Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you didn't hear that. No, no, we can't. Come on, man. This is a family show. What are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to stop it on that. This break coming up. Well, it's time to get to it. Come on. Yeah, we just we we just lost the Twitch audience completely. Oh. Yeah. Bunch of fucking incels, man. What do you expect? Come on, man. I can make it stop. Well, I want really one of that Scott and Tracy Lord. I'm not going to get it. No. Yeah, family no. show. Denied. Yeah. Denied. That looked like a hell of a ferry ride, though. You know, I, I was. Look at it. What could I do because of the cell phone angle of the video? You know, the orientation and everything. And I no. see these different things where you could like fill in the sides with this other stuff. And then I was like, honestly, it'd be kind of cool 
if I put like the water, because pretty much the whole video is pretty much half of it is just the fucking water as you're crossing the river. And I thought, well, that would work with like the talking about washing clothes and then you can patch holes and boats and stuff with it. You know, That's I, right. I, I thought that, that this works. It'll work. It'll work. But, um, I don't know. It's just different. Um, and that's what I try to do. Uh, LMAO, always nice to step away for a moment and come back to Tracy Lords. <laughs> that's right. Lone star. <laughs> you leave that little girl alone. <laughs> shame what they did to her. It's a damn shame. Be, you know, it's because of Tracy Lords. We're all going to have to get a digital ID now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I can follow that line of thinking. She was able to fake her ID and her driver's license and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. But then she went on to have quite a, a career. Decent. But I mean, that, that happens when, you know, you're you're a part of the machinery. Right. You know, they find ways to use you. And to be fair, I never saw like Tracy Lords like do like really weird uh, Britney type stuff, you know, like the Kevin Federline well, she, wedding yeah, she with, wasn't, the, with the everyone having right. matching sweatpants or like the oh, what's the part I'm forgetting? Oh yeah, the shaving of the fucking head, shaving of the anyway, head. Yeah, the the uh, flipping out in public. Uh, shout out Justin yeah. Timberlake. Because he was he was part of that whole group with uh, Brittany and Christina there in in the uh, the Disney Nether regions, but and now Tracy we know Lords, thanks to her confession that apparently JT knocked up Brittany. What doesn't surprise me? Made her get made her get the uh, the DNC, and and I'm not talking about a uh, convention either. Anyways, um, right? But no, like Tracy Lords was not that person. Right. She wasn't raised in the business. She decided she wanted to get into it and was okay with, you know, whatever they were going to ask of her, apparently up to a certain point. Right. And then after that point, things went really weird. Yeah. Yeah. You could say that. The, the, the funny thing is that. She has a, a music, you know, she did an entire album of music. Mm -hmm. Don't know that she ever did another album. I don't think so. I don't think she ever dabbled with music ever again. Um, and, and I don't know how much of a role she played in the actual music itself. I, I don't know. Probably just I, an after effect. On the album, I, I, I to think be honest, she just added vocals. Right. She just um, went into the studio one day, and they were like, "Here, here's your lyrics." But um, you know, it turns out it was remixable. Yeah. I would definitely want to go back and and mix it harder and crunchier because right now that's it, what it she says when i play it right now it kind of hits like soggy cereal which don't get me wrong the cereal milk at the bottom is is really good um you know you got to drink it with a spoon uh or well in fact it's so thick with sugar you can just about drink the last uh, few hits of cereal milk with a fork but yeah. um it's all soggy and you know, I still like to have that crunch when I'm. Who's kidding? Who I I can't remember the last time I had a bowl of cereal. I I normally go with the protein. You know, maybe some fried eggs, bacon, sausage. You know, of course, halal. Muslim well, of sausage. course, of course, yeah. I don't think anyone would expect anything less of you, young. So, uh, In fact, uh, my hot dogs are, I only buy kingdom of Saudi Arabia brand hot dogs. 
Right. Really? Wait, do you get those at the Kroger? Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Mohammed bin Salami. Anyways, um, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm definitely getting beheaded for that one. Anyways. Probably, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't go to Vegas anytime soon if I were you. <laughs> he gets around. He, he's very mobile. He's got, oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, got I heard he just drips, like I that. heard before we went on the air this evening, Yona that apparently there were a great many folks over on Rumble, uh, political types, pundit types, you know, folks who like to stare at a camera and just blah, 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 blah. Right. And they were all stoked. They were all stoked. They were all talking shit about CNN. And then... (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, Somebody pulled the plug. And it looked like it was DNS level uh, type of type of chicanery going on, because the error message came back quick. Yeah. This wasn't See? like it was spinning for a minute, and it was like, well, we didn't hear anything back, so they must not have a website. Over no, there it was in, like uh, boom, you cannot access. In the beautiful Beehive State, um, there in Bluffdale, Utah. Uh, at our favorite Camp Williams National Data Center. Um, hey, guys, pork pizza's on the way. Anyways, uh, they have switches and buttons, and, you know, they just push a button, flick a switch, and poof, DNS, motherfucker, suck it. Yeah. Well, a lot Server of people access don't know. Denied. Yeah, a lot of people Server don't know they can actually denied. do that. Yep. <laughs> like, if they Back decide. Like motherfucker. Yeah. If they decide they want to take down your website, they can do that. Oof. Bye. Yeah, the ability is there. They just have not exercised that option up to this point. Does not mean that it's off the table. You know, I could wake up tomorrow and go to pull up manufacturingreality.org and it just not be there. I oh, don't worry. Just put it on a cloud. And then you can go, oh, wait, I can't log into my cloud either. What's happening? <laughs> no. Oh, well, there's always paper and pencil, right? I suppose. I prefer radio, though. Yeah. It's just, it's quicker. Because I, 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 thought, in- I thought writing was the way to go for for a minute, right? Because like it, it, it actually, too. yeah, it, it allows you to to really compose your thoughts, and and to tedious. make sure that you're what you're saying is actually what you're trying to communicate. But it's a very slow fucking process. And like it takes editing. a long time to get from point A to point B. Yeah, you know where. Yeah, okay, free association. You know, media creation may not be the most compelling thing for a lot of people yet, but it is a a pretty damn instantaneous form of communication. Radio, you know, when people are rolling on, on, on the highways, steering the whips around, radio's where it's at, man. And Always has for been. people that, that work and, you know, unless you're just so rich that you're just spending money on Uber Eats and Grubhub and DoorDash deliveries and Instacart deliveries and just having everything delivered. You know, most people that drive around, you know, listening to, to cool ass shit, like some Liberty Radio. You feel me? I mean, that that's why we're here, right? I can't blame them. Now. Them later i mean you know have you listened the, the to the music, shit that's on the, the radio these pants. days yeah and, and, and then like uh the, the color commentary is just poo like it, it, it's it's not even funny you know and, and i mean or offensive it's just bland it's like cornflakes with no sugar and skim milk just basically like milk flavored water yeah it's like white colored water on I mean, how do Sugar people free, think Howard what? Stern got to the position that he's at? I mean, other than the, you know, sucking the, the dick of his superiors along the way. 
He offended people every fucking step of the way. That was his whole bit. It, it, he's more offensive than Don Imus, yet Don... Oh, that's right, because the racism. Ne- never mind. That Yeah, I, I was trying... I always I thought that's now. what made Don Imus endearing. I, I love know, that he, man. He was an old, crazy-haired racist, and all of a sudden he got canceled because he turned out to be... An a old, crazy hair racist. racist. But I yeah. mean, that, that, that's, what he, that's like saying, all right, we're going to cancel Vermin Supreme. For wearing because a boot he's a crazy on his head. old man that wears yeah. a boot on his head. But it's Vermin fucking Supreme. He wears a fucking boot on his head. That's what you That's get. his bit, yeah. That's his fucking lane. That's his bailiwick. That's his wheelhouse, man. It would be like if they were to say the Yona can never smoke weeds again. Right? That's why, like, you know, Jagoff, a.k.a. Jimmy Dore, James Patrick Anthony Dore the fourth or whatever. Um, right. Who gave um, up smoking the weeds. Yeah. He's a quitter. That's weird. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm pointing out That's facts. That's weird. This is Get Fact Harder. But, you know, it was kind of be to be expected because he started out taking the vax shot. And then quit on yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. He's not the sharpest crayon in the box. You know. Again, he's not the title, ladies and gentlemen. He he's not a ride or die type druggie like the Yona. I mean, I just I couldn't imagine Jimmy Dore being wired to the max for well, two or three days. Right. I'm pretty five, sure he didn't grow up in the holler. So. Man, oh, I got around. I was in uh, where did I? Yeah, last night. Uh, I leaned the seat back at the UDF parking lot. Um, that's uh, United Dairy Farmers. It's like a Seven Eleven, but you're in Cincinnati. Um, UDF, United Dairy Farmers, it's the gas station chain, um, but they have really awesome milk because. It's fucking United Dairy Farmers, but UDF. So, um, so, like, I was napping for like two hours, wake up, and there's like people parked next to me, and there's people carrying coffee and donuts outside, and it's like seven o'clock. Like, ah, I guess I'll go ahead and get at it. And I, I look, I turn, and look over my shoulder, over the seat down to the fucking double-A highway there in the interstate interchange and it's just a fucking parking lot. Just red lights everywhere. I'm like, God damn. Look at that fucking beast-ass morning commute. Fuck this town. Hit that pipe about three or four times. And I'm like, I'm just going to pull over here about 30 feet over and park in the Allstate insurance parking lot right next door to this place. Go to sleep for like an hour. Tap, tap, tap. Wake up. Fucking cop on the window again. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I was taking a nap. I've been door dashing all night. You see delivery bags everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to need to see your ID. Oh, am I trespassing? I'll just leave. I mean, I... Well, I mean, you can park in the UDF, but you can't park over here. Oh. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just... What's I'll the difference? Go. Well... And so then, you know, and then two other cops pull up, and I'm like, well, I guess I'll have my morning cigarette. Good morning. And then he comes back. He's like, okay, you just need to go. And and they all leave. Uh, it's only about like five or six minutes, but uh, thank God they left so I could finally get high. Right. And, and then... And then I was like looking, I seen all the traffic and it was all heading into Cincinnati. And I was like, hmm, I need to go the opposite. Go the other way. way. That's right. Go the, yeah. Yeah. Back to the country. I finally figured Alexander. that out after years of living in D.C. <laughs> you go the opposite direction of where yeah. everybody else is going. And you have it's a breeze you get wherever you want in the shortest amount of time possible it's fucking awesome 
then dude, the thing about DoorDash, there's DoorDash in every single fucking town in the United States now. Well, of course, people are lazy. Everywhere, I mean, every town. Do you think I go everybody to, I, in America is like me, Yona? Like making all of their own food at home all fucking day long, never ordering in, never going out to restaurants? No, they're well, not. At least you know what you're eating. I'm a fucking retard for doing it, quite honestly. Bro, I mean, <laughs> there's like spots where I picked berries before up in northern Kentucky, and I would because. I was dating this girl up there, Joanne Kimball. Went to Florence Mall and everything. It's way back when, 1992, 91, 92, 1992, summer of 92. Yeah. That was a good year. Um, so you so already dropped out of school. And it was in um, Pendleton County outside the of first time. near near Kincaid Lake up off double a highway and it picked all these berries and everything. And I mean, I had all like choke cherries, gooseberries, blackberries, fucking everything, man. You know, the fucking little ground strawberries, just all, it's like a food forest and parts of the timber stands out through there. Cause wild ass. There's no, it's just all wild land. Cause you know, really steep, like limestone bluffs and just right. inaccessible. And so it, it's protected. It, it's still wild. So, I you know, after a while, I was like, man, I really want a snack. I don't feel like eating that. And I ended up getting some White Castles. It's all right. But after two of them, I was like, you know, it's just all bread. And the meat was paper thin with six holes punched through it now. God damn. Damn. So, like, you know what? And so then I had to shop and order at the Myers, which is like a, grocery store slash department yeah yeah walmart right anyways uh M -E if people don't know what a myers is it, like we don't have time to explain it folks you just have to search Man, they, it up i had some really nice um 15 dollar fucking artisan bratwurst that I, that i brought home with me um uh, i can't believe that people pay 15 dollars for that i um, can't either what the fuck makes it artisan I don't know, but I still got three more of them, and I'm going to be heating those up and eating the rest of my. Because I, 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 uh, I, you yeah, know, I, I, I thought I need to go on a diet. You know, I was on like the Atkins, and that was like maybe keto or protein or non-carb. And then I heard about the C take diet. And I'm like, ooh, I see that, and I like it. I'm taking it home. C take yeah. diet. Results may vary. Um, don't don't try this at home. Only in stores. <laughs> Good for gaining mass, I believe. The sea take diet. I believe I've heard that. So before. much more delicious. Like it's like, hey, dude, don't worry, I'll buy you lunch. Really? Uh, you know what? I really wasn't that hungry, but now, fuck it. I'll have the uh, Carolina Reaper appetizer because you know I hate my butthole right now. The, the hemorrhoids are making me mad, and I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna send some. Carolina Reapers to the hemorrhoids. Fuck you. Fuck every one of you guys down there. All of you in the Fruit of the Loom commercial. Fuck you. Yona, <laughs> welcome to your yeah. 50s. <laughs> you Which got 10 years like, of that to look forward to. Yeah. You know, I like the habanera flavor because it's not as hot as jalapeno. Maybe hotter. And I don't know. Is it Scoville's that they measure them in or something? There's like a heat measurement or yeah it's scoville's i think it's what it's called but anyways um i just see i was used to asking you know like my buddy at the restaurant i was like should i try that and he's like no or he was like yeah you'll probably be all right man that what, what really got me was the fact that before i traveled into hispanic countries i just thought that I, I associated the Spanish language with tacos and burritos and tostadas. Mm -hmm. We're in America, and we think that's Mexican food like Spanish food. Well, it turns out tacos, tostadas, burritos, um, tamales, that's 
Native American food. That's literally Aztec and Mayan food. Yeah. Has fuck nothing to do with Spanish food. Nope. You go to Spain and they've got like tapas, you know, like mm-hmm. little fried appetizer balls. And they've got paella with the fish fry and the and the rice and the couscous. And it's kind of like Middle Eastern with, with the lots of salty nuts in your mouth. That's Spanish food. And then they're saying like Ciudad and Cinco de Mayo. And it's just all very gay. Right. Very gay. Very lispy. With a hard double G. Yeah. Um, So, you know, it's like if Mike Tyson was Spanish and only cooked like avocado toast with fish oil or it just, no, it, and and what was wild was like between Barcelona and Madrid, another place where I went in Spain, never saw Mexican food. They're like, fuck Mexico. Wow. Like, That's interesting because I did have some pretty damn good paella down in Acapulco. I, I can't find a fucking taco in Barcelona. Instead, of, they got all this fucking Spanish and... Uh, what, what's the other one? Catalonian food or whatever. Cantalopian or no, ca- ca- Catalonia, Catalonia. Yeah. Whatever. Weird fucking language there. The Catalonian. <laughs> Bonas. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember learning about them in world history class. The Catalonians. <laughs> Yet there they are. Shoes <laughs> plow. Una tabula shoes plow. Donas. What a weird fucking language. It's like shoes if you mixed, plow. If you mixed French and Portuguese with Dutch and Arabic and then just like. Why? Stewed it in Spanish for about, oh, a couple hours. Why not just mix speak it English? all together and make it a smoothie? And it's. Silvu play becomes she ush plow. And it's got all these sure it does. Words. Yeah. That, that makes nothing but sense. The coolest thing about Barcelona was this big, like, walking promenade type thing from the beach going all the way up, long, straight thing called Las Ramblas. Las Ramblas. And that's where they got all the, like the little gypsy kids, you know, pickpockets. I thought they and tried they, to get rid of all of those. And and they literally cluster like, um, like I remember the last time I was visiting my grandma down in Lorena, Texas, there near Waco, off of I thirty five. Anyways, um, oh, and go and piss road. outside, and it's got the big like the the fire ants making their fucking sand oh, yeah. hill. Like, you know, and yeah, they're giant, they're giant fucking mounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking wild. Yeah. It's man. always got grass on top. And so I'm out there pissing and all the fucking dog dick flies. I think they do that for decoration. Like, the grass God, on top. Damn. Well, that's the way the, the, the gypsy kids are at Los Ramos. They just, they cluster like a cloud of gnats or dog dick flies. And. And it's they have just the grass a theory on top. of little hands, and you know, like wow, man, wow, and, you know, it, it's wild. Like you can see another fresh tourist pop out of an alley, and they're like, "Oh, we found Los Robles." And they start taking pictures, and boom, they they all just start converging from every fucking yep. angle. And within seconds, they're like, "Oh, like he's got a pack my of phone. hungry dogs." Yeah, That's, excuse me. It could be scoozy. And there goes camera. There goes phone. There, you know. Yeah. Kind of like when um, Fee and Pasta went to Brazil. Anyways, back to you, Drizzle. I don't know that story. Tell me that story. What happened when Fee and Pasta went to Brazil? Oh, they they well. Where Glenn see, Greenwald owns a gay porn production company. Right. Um. So, uh, speaking of Portuguese. Portuguese, um, and I'm not talking about foul on the front. Um, no, Portuguese, the language, not Portuguese. And um, they, there's this word called favela, 
F A V E L A. I know that like, word. Um, the hood, basically. It's yeah. the hood, favela. Um, and uh, they decided to rough it in the hood with one of their guides. And one of their guides, you know. That doesn't sound like a good idea for them. Uh, you know, had, you know, one of their guides was an accomplice to the lifting of their phones. Well, obviously. That's why he was their guide. Yeah. And they, they just took the phones. That's a shame. That is a shame. But they got, they got to keep their credit cards and their money and everything. So, I mean, well, I, would your silver this, lining. I would consider it like a Seth Rich type mugging only better. Because, you know, you got to keep your wallet. You got to keep your ID. You got to keep your credit cards. You got to keep your money. Uh, and you got to keep your life. So you, you actually made it out better than Seth Rich. Correct. So no, it's, let's, let this be a listen to whistleblowers, whether you're blowing the whistle against the DNC or blowing the whistle against Boeing. When they say, hey, we need you to get that hotel room for an extra night because we got to meet with you again. Uh, and the Boeing whistleblower was like, fuck it then. I'll get the hotel again and... And then we can do another day of deposition and special bonus round of legal depositions on Saturday. Yeah, or not. Well, and then Saturday morning, they're out in the parking lot and they find them. Um, apparently, something went Boeing right through his head. Um, and then the same thing with our other whistleblower. Yeah. Um, Seth Rich, who was leaking shit to Julian Assange. Mm -hmm. And then he was... Allegedly. Uh, and then he was uh, killed in a in a mugging, where they again allegedly took. What did they steal from him? Nothing. But it was a anyway. It was it was a allegedly. yeah. It was a botched allegedly. robbery. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Where instead of stealing stuff, they they killed him. They just killed him. Yeah. So you know. It wasn't a murder. It was or an assassination. Right. It was um. What you? It call was it a again? mugging that went wrong. A botched robbery. Yeah. Happens all the time. All That's the time. A good band name. Botched robbery. Botched robbery. Probably somebody's probably already used it. Botched robbery and the full bill folds. I mean, you can you can use it. Nothing prevents you from using it except for uh, intellectual property, but that's that doesn't exist anyway. So that 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 is our new band name for the night, folks. Botched robbery. Uh, uh, let's see. I like it. Uh, botched robbery and the full bill folds. That's right. Bosch robber and the full bill folds. Cause you know, you gotta thinking, have your, yeah, you gotta, you, you gotta your have backing your backup band. singers, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. saxophone, whole, trumpet. You want to do the whole don't, ensemble. Don't, don't forget the trombone. We're doing fusion funk jazz. Anyway, I feel you. Bosch yeah. robbery and the full bill folds. Yeah. Occasionally you might have the $2 whores <laughs> fill in for the full bill folds, you know, just to I mix would, things up. I would love, I gotta ask Corey Hughes. To put his fucking um, CSNY, his forensic investigatory brain cells on Seth Rich. I want to know what, what Jews Seth Rich pissed off. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think he pissed off Jews. I think it's pretty obvious who he pissed off. Oh, the the Cankosaurus. Because <laughs> he wasn't around for very long after it was found out. Empress Cankletine. Yeah. Oh God! I seen her on stage the other day. Woo! Oh, and that Moo Moo. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ooh. Well, she's at that age, you know. She's. Oh God. Well, the the woman who used Ooh. to babysit me when I was when I was a wee little drizzle, you know, like four, five, six years old, and and mom and dad were working. Well, mom was working. Uh, we don't really know what dad was doing. Claimed to be working. But uh, 
she would wear the moo-moos around, uh, you know, all day, every day. And she was like uh, uh, 70s, early 70s, I think. Something like that. So, I mean, it it all tracks. Well, now, now let's see here. I can just move this over here. Uh-oh. Pull up that picture. Uh back in the day and there it is i may have shared this picture before but uh you think that that's looking at uh hilltop lane off of uh old lee highway Lamo loop uh which is right off of the main ass U.S. Route 50 Lee Highway, right off I-495 Beltway in beautiful uh, Fairfax County upon Accomack Creek because of pimps go. like that. Um, but there's my uh, two older sisters flanking me. And uh, there is the Yona in the walker. And in the background is uh, the uh, 1964 and a half Ford Mustang number two thirty seven off the assembly line, purchased, uh, and well, actually, Dad went to the dealership in Pasadena, Texas, <laughs> and ordered that in June of sixty four, and actually got to drive it. I think in August, the ragtop, and uh, my brother has it now passed down to him shout out um nice. tony anyways uh and then you know looking across that this uh picture you're actually looking east toward the beltway um and if you were to stand in the same place in front of our apartment there in uh technically falls church virginia there um it's all skyscrapers now hmm and that I little lane there, me. that was like a about a fifteen foot wide black top lane. It's fucking five lanes strode now. Two oh, lanes wow. on each side. Center turn lane, sidewalks on each side. Street yeah, that was that was back before they uh figured out that pictures did not have to be a square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we had a whole stacks and stacks of albums of old pictures and they were all fucking squares. I was like, the hell? So that's what Nova, a.k.a. Northern Virginia, looked like uh, in 1977. At one point, yeah. yeah. 1977. Well, yeah, because the, the, constru the construction explosion really happened <laughs> in like the early 1980s. That's when yeah. everything started getting built up. And yeah, it just has been stalled like a motherfucker. Yeah, oh, I mean, fuck there, yeah. Was, there was nothing in Sterling. There was nothing in Reston. They were like archaic nope. railroad stops on a railroad line. There. They were fields. They were farms. There was nothing there. You know, I mean, there was like the old depot and like four or five houses clustered at each spot, and the rest is just farms. And now they're just huge. It's just staggering. Yeah. It's just no, staggering. I remember all being. It, I mean, all the way to Leesburg is just all fucking earth. It's all fucking out. asphalt. Yeah. And, you know, because, like, you know, when they first put Dulles Airport way the fuck out, you know, I don't know, kind of like 50 miles west of DC, it's way the fuck out there. And the only way to get out there was take the Dulles Access Road. And it's just. There was nothing out there. And mm -hmm. as soon as you peeled off 66, you know, you like two or three miles, there's like a few things and then just fields. The rest all the way to the airport. Not anymore. Now it's all fucking city. Mm -hmm. It's all sprawl. Fairfax County Parkway all the way down to Franconia and Springfield. It's just all blah, fucking sprawl to the max. I mean, it, it, same thing for PG or uh Prince George County, Maryland. You know, it's just sprawl all the way past Gaither. I mean, all the way to Frederick, pretty much. It's just yep. blech. Blech. <laughs> Yuck. All the way, all the way to Frederick, all the way south 
down to uh, Fredericksburg. It gets worse, though. They are going, and, and Northern Virginia was one of the first places in the country after Indiana to embrace the roundabout. Oh, no. And no, we don't have to cover this again. We already covered this one. Intersections once. with fucking roundabouts. Hopefully, Texas and Colorado have not been smoking this fucking roundabout fucking crack. I haven't, I haven't seen any evidence of them here in Texas, but then I haven't done a whole lot of driving in Texas oh, since I've been here, so... You know, other than passing through in 2022, I haven't done a whole lot of driving in Texas lately. Well, Indiana, Ohio, and now Kentucky, it's spreading. Illinois, Michigan, they're all, but Indiana and Ohio are just taking the lead on tearing out intersections and spending millions of dollars to re-pour curb sidewalk and do all this landscaping to replace stop signs and stoplights with European style roundabouts. Hmm. Looks like they're in Connecticut as well. Yeah. According to Biscotti. <sighs> NB, what is that? New Brunswick, New Boston? Yeah. New New Belvedere. I don't know. I don't know it, my it, Connecticut cities. Uh, th- that's New Britain. New Britain. I was close. New Britain. I was close. It's what? It's one of those mob towns. Full if I kept young. going, I might have gotten it. New Britain's like imagine Connecticut with a bunch of gangsters whose last names rhyme with ski. That's New Britain. Ask Viscotti; he'll tell you. He knows. Yeah, he that's knows. what he just put in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. That's facts. Big facts, son. All right. <laughs> well, on. I guess I guess we got to we got to it happened, so we got to talk about it. <laughs> right? Uh-oh. We'll just go ahead and get it out of the way. Probably should have done it earlier, except there was all kinds of craziness going on, which is to be expected when a story this big hits the news cycle, right? Uh, Julian Assange is now a free man, Yona. Wait, what? You didn't he's, know he's that? Been released? He's been released from Belbarsh prison? Yes. Holy shit. You hadn't heard no, that. I, no, I, I, I've been working for six Holy days. Holy cow. In um, a bubble. Yeah. So when did that I, happen? Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday? Wow. And yeah. Oh, okay. So like two, two, three days ago. Yeah. And so they 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 released him on bail or no? They dropped he the charges took a or... plea deal. Uh huh. After spending how many years in prison? Willingly spending how many years in prison? Or well, and, and, but, maybe but not the, completely but willingly, but. Right. They released him and he, he he's free to travel. He he can come to America now if he wants. Well, the first thing he had to do when he was released from Belmarsh prison is he had to get on an airplane and fly to the nearest uh US federal courthouse in the jurisdiction that he was from, which would be Australia. So he basically right. had to, as soon as he got out of prison, get on an airplane and fly halfway around the world. Because that makes sense. So now, he's, so now he's down under. I believe so. I believe so. Oh, but what? he had to plead guilty in this court to uh, something having to do with uh, classified information or some shit. Right. Yeah. And that had what to do with England? Nothing. Right. But that 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 part never made any sense. Like why why is he in England? So the saga that began in Stockholm, Sweden 
finally ends in Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. After how many years? Jesus. 15 years? How long has this thing been dragging on? Long fucking time. Uh, hang on. Longer than second. Steve I, has been broadcasting, that's for sure. Yeah. Go I, ahead I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf braying. Just one second. Braying with a B. I hear the braying as well. Go and check on the yodeling. But I'll tell you, folks, there, there are, and you guys have probably already figured this out, but there are a lot of things about this Assange thing that are just not sitting right with me. Like, I don't know. It's uh, a little bit too convenient, the timing of everything, and uh, I don't know. It just doesn't smell right. Well, I, I got the, the wolf to stop crying. but I uh, see that, and I hear that. Hi. Which little wolf do we have here? Th this is the one and only Waya, the wolf herself. My goodness. Look at that pretty yep. smile. Wow. She's good for me. <laughs> Daddy's <laughs> girl. That's right. That's right. Yeah, she's going to be trouble one day. Oh, keep sure an eye on her. She's an excellent, excellent break dancer. You should see her when she gets on her back and does spins. Oh, nice. It's really great. The truly awesome threes, not terrible threes. I don't know why they would say that. I don't remember That's the threes awesome. being bad. No. Because I don't remember the threes <laughs> anyway. That's, That's, That's right. That's back before my memory starts because, again, it got fractured there at some point. I don't exactly know when it was. I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, that's what home movies are for. <laughs> we did not have those. My parents were fucking cheap asses. They wouldn't do oh. that shit. Yeah, they didn't. They did not understand the magic of video as I did, and tried to explain to them over and over and over again. They just didn't get it. They were from a different generation, Yona. You you might know something about that. I believe your parents yeah. were also from a different generation. Definitely. And they were totally bought into the system. <sighs> they yeah. tried so hard to make me a believer, but, um, well, we're not going to talk about that whole North Pole elves and boating thing right now. Cause right. Uh, we don't want to ruin the fantasy. Right. Um, and you know, what's really cool is her older brother, Kaya Soda and she as well are really into like, their favorite toys are the moon man, the astronauts and the space shuttle toys. And, you know, they're big believers in the moon landing, obviously. And, you know, landing on other planets cause they're kids and well, yeah, it's a cool fantasy, you know? Um, I mean, I gotta think it's gotta be, it's gotta be so awesome when you're like filming the, uh-oh. I'm still up. I think. There we go. Okay. Bam. Bam. And we're back. So, oh, yeah. yeah, it's got to be weird when you're filming Welcome the back. video. And, and you're filming the video and you're editing the video and looking at the clips and everything. You're like, wow, this really does look like we're on the moon. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> shout out Neil Armstrong. <laughs> so what happened? Did you kick a cord or something? Uh, no, I was, I looked up and all of a sudden it just, bloop. it was like blank and gone. And then poop, it came back. Huh? That's never happened before. That's weird. Well, there's been weird stuff going on. They're, they're, a lot they're of really switches. weird stuff going on. Like, Yesterday, we had uh, we had some storms come rolling through. Nothing, you know, spectacular. Uh, but it was just kind of odd because we haven't had any storms for a while. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of the hot-ass day, a storm pops up. But 
about 3.45 p.m. The internet blinks out. And I'm like, oh, huh. okay, so we're, we're going to do this again. Oh, you know, God. figuring it's going to come on, you know, 10 or 15 minutes later because they updated the fucking server somewhere or whatever. Right. And after about New five software. minutes, yeah. After about five minutes of waiting, I hear, bang, power goes out. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's not even like, it's not even a strong storm. Like at that time, wow. I don't even know if it was, if it was storming at that time, like it, with the wind blowing and all that stuff. I was just like, what Yona, the hell? Uh, by the way, that, that um, before I forget tonight's, um, Yona's pro tip, Yona pro tip, always, uh, keep a stash of gasoline, uh, for your generator. Um, because, uh, you know, life in a banana Republic comes with lots of power outages and internet outages. And, Apparently. uh, United States is America. Remember America. We're already in a Hispanic banana Republic. Just, just look all around. It, it Pretty hit much. the home Depot at six in the morning. It's all around you. I mean, all through Cincinnati and all these other cities I was in the last few days, every city I was in, the people walking up and down the sidewalks, half of them Hispanic. Oh, yeah. At least it. a third of third of the deliveries I made, I just spoke Spanish the whole time. Porque se puede hacerlo sin problemas. So el corazón sal. Viva Radio Libertad. Anyways, fumate más las hierbas. Smoke more of the weed. That's right, folks. We're bilingual like that. Anyways. Yeah. I need to get back to practicing my Spanish. It's actually starting to starting to click. All right. Yeah. I just need to get it, back to using it. Y, y otra vez se, se puede ensayando. Not right now. Y hablando. <laughs> oh, okay. Later. 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 Well, uh, the, the main thing to remember is fumate mas las hierbas. Smoke See? more of the weeds. See. <laughs> and with that, um, hmm. Hi. Uh, uh. I guess I need to lay her down. Um, All right. Be right back. Just a All second. Right. We can always Mom. put up the picture of the old Yona uh, while he does his daddy duties. Uh, Tucking in the yodeling, which I'm told is a uh, pretty much a nightly ritual at the uh, the Yona. Uh, what what type of structure do you think a Yona would live in? Let me know uh, in the live stream chat that you are a part of. Let's matter of fact. Did you guys know that we are broadcasting on Twitch right now? It's true. There, there is actually a stream up and running, and because we're not playing any music, uh, we should not uh, be getting any sort of uh, censorship on Twitch. Looks like they actually uh, blocked out a couple of the songs from the broadcast last night. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, that's just the, the way things are in COVID land. But yeah, Twitch is now another option uh, for your Liberty Radio. And like I say, as far as I know, they don't uh, they don't censor any of the live stream, just the replay afterwards. I I, I used Twitch before and got a lot of friends on Twitch. I know there, you know, at the time I was using Twitch, I wasn't allowed to broadcast on twitch and there were all these restrictions to being able to um well you could live stream out but when it's done like they just immediately delete it like it wasn't like you had to have so oh, many like followers and, and all this stuff in order to keep it um, right but I, I don't know if they've changed that or not but it was a pretty cool hangout, mainly just for like gamers. A lot of gamers. Um, it's it's a gamer spot, um, which is cool because we're gamer friendly. Game yeah. on! Yeah. Well, there's um, there's a lot of people that broadcast on Twitch. 
you know, it's not uh, not just us, not just uh, Grand Theft World. I believe OBDM podcast right. broadcasts on Twitch. Uh, so it's it's popular with the podcasters as well. I think it's actually uh, an untapped resource in the broadcast space, the greater broadcast space. The problem is they've been in that gamer niche for so long, which is really like at that point you're getting towards like the lowest common denominator of humanity on a right. group type basis. Um, right. So you're going to run up on a lot of the pitfalls that would come along with just forming an online human community to begin with. You're going to run into those quicker because of that segment of the population that you're dealing with. You're you're going to be getting the worst that humanity has to offer on a daily basis. And and you can tell so, primarily because even though it's can't really you're fault reading, them. You're reading text messages. You you know a lot of people do the the text to voice thing, and so just text to voice it, and you'll see that by and large most of this audience already has an old big dirty mouth. So OBDM just really matches with that. Yeah, it does. Again, it it, it you know it, it it just fits all together, nice and neat. Um. But anyway, where where were we before uh the Yonaling had to had to leave the stage? Do you remember? I don't remember. Well, uh I think we were talking about here. Julian Assange. Right. And she's whether or not he's an room. intelligence asset. Hmm. I don't know. I I just know that uh he's really not in good health. I think he had suffered a stroke. And- well, that was the story. Yeah, shape. that was right. that was the story. Was but he we looked uh, he looked uh, well fed, very well fed. Huh? <clears throat> like he hasn't missed a meal in decades. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just you know, very very spry. Almost uh, dare I say, with a spring in his step. From again, a man that we're told suffered a stroke like six months ago. Huh. Yeah. Well, I've really got very interesting. Very interesting stuff. I really need to look into that. That that's very strange. Yeah. I really need to look into that. Let's see here. I, I don't think uh, I've ever been less informed coming into a GFH, but Wow. I don't know that I've ever worked six days in a row like that. Oh, really? I've worked so hard in my life. But, I mean, you know, in order to clear the 500 bucks, I had to make 1300 bucks to pay for the $800 of gas that it took to drive that thing for six days. Wow. I added up all the receipts. It was actually $785, not yeah. 800 But I'm just rounding up at that point. Go ahead and give her some attention, man. I can cover for you. Uh, she's right here in the green room. Standing. Because uh, mommy went to pick up her niece. And uh, she's like, so I'm going to be leaving while you're doing your show. You can watch the kids while we're gone because you're going to be here, right, doing the show. It's like, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, then. We, we should be fine. <laughs> Octavia. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't be sad. Aw. Oh, don't be sad. It's happy time. That's right. Happy, happy, joy. Let's get joy, fact happy, harder. Joy, happy, happy. Don't cry. Daddy did not put on yucky, scratching, sniffy guy. And you did not get scratched and sniffed yourself. I can only imagine. That's right. If um, Biden or Trump had a, a campaign stop in Ohio and saw my beautiful little girl, they would want to take a picture. And oh, you know. 
you know Joe Biden would make a beeline for her. Yeah. Nope. Hands off, you fucking yuck. Not today, Satan. You know, we we might just be able to make a spot for, uh, you know, a third host on the show. If she would be open to that. I don't, I don't know. So, it's, we might have to do contract negotiations and that sort of thing. I'm not quite sure how all of that works, but, uh, yeah, so she's, she's quite panel. photogenic. I have, uh, I have recorded her on occasion where she is uh, playing piano and singing and doing her own thing. But, uh, yeah, I think she's a natural man. And of course, uh, as you can see by her attire, she is definitely down for the Palestine, rocking her Palestine flag, watermelon, because um, we all know what the watermelon stands for. It's oh, yeah. Palestinian flag on the DL type stuff, you know what I'm saying? And so that, that brings us to um, Waya's pro tip tonight. We had our Yona pro tip. Now for your Waya pro tip. BDS. Boycott. Divest. Sanction. Because fuck Zionists. Anyways, back to you, Drizzle. Sure, man. <laughs> the longer this goes on, the further I get away from picking a side. <laughs> Like for all I care, they can they can completely annihilate one another at this point, and I I could not care less. What's interesting is if you know, I can think of so many different situations where there have been predatory adjoining landowners, neighbors, that slowly but surely just keep buying up and buying up more land and then buying out the neighbors and then eventually there's just a few holdouts left fighting it and maybe they'll hold out to the bitter end and then they're they've got the little house surrounded by the skyscrapers i mean it's i've seen this play out over and over again and to me the israel palestine saga is just kind of a macro version of the regular micro version that we see day to day where yeah. neighbors are like fuck the rest of all my neighbors i do what i want and you know whatever damage comes your way i don't fucking care and so you know and so israel has been that asshole neighbor that just keeps leaning over the fucking line and then oops did i drop a bomb on your roof <laughs> my man Wait, it, I, it's too soon. This is probably striking pretty close to home for Drizzle. <laughs> Don't talk to me about asshole neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know all about asshole neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, you know, this tree it's, it's you got It's funny here, that man. you mentioned that because really the insurance company the called tree. today. <laughs> yeah. Like, could, could you trim that tree? It's like totally over on my property line. It's oh, don't even you. get me started. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't even fucking it, it, get me started, man. It is too soon. It really it, 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 it it's, is. Well, it's still in process, yeah. right? That's the problem. Because even though the roof is fixed, fucking paid for it out of my own goddamn pocket, you know, it's, it's still, the claim is still in process, Yona, because, you know, people can wait for the uh, machinery of insurance uh, to move in order to get on with their lives. That's the American way. Ah, claims and processing. Yeah. But no, it's fine. I did actually get a call from the insurance company this afternoon. I didn't answer it because I didn't know that's who it was because it was from a completely different number than, you know, what I'm used to seeing. And it was, I got a message from somebody I've never talked to before who has suddenly been assigned to my claim. I'm like, oh, well, this is fucking great. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, hello, area code 212. Or, uh, oh, now it's 708. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm like, can You're I, can I just like, 
walk next door and and fucking you know take it out of his hide and just be done with this shit what the fuck why do i have to get another moron involved anyway i would think uh I don't know. That would be a litigate issue. Uh oh, hang on just a second. I hear relate. Let just one second. No. All right. There is mommy. Oh wow. Right. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting to uh, to talk about my issues this evening. I don't think I want to talk about it. Quite honestly. Because there's nothing to really talk about yet. It's still in process. But back to the uh, Assange thing. Might as well go there since uh, there's not much of anywhere else to go. I don't know. There's something that just isn't right. Like the, the timing isn't right. The way it goes down is just really, really bizarre. Again, not like we've ever seen anything quite like this before. But even the way, like, some of the media are reporting on it and some are completely ignoring it. I don't know. All right, I got my ears in. All right. Well, I covered for you, so uh, we're it's all good. We're still on the air. And I think the streams are still up. we do it live, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> we you know, do it live. We broadcast late at night, so I, I don't know. Most of our audience might be asleep at this point. Yeah. Oh, I, let me close my door. Hang on a second. All right. We'll get this figured out eventually one night, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you. you do it long enough, and, uh, and you learn a few things. It's true. Okay. So yeah, you're you're definitely going to have to study up on your Assange plea deal. No shit. Cuz part Boy, I... of part of the plea deal was that he had to remove uh the Hillary Clinton emails from the WikiLeaks WikiLeaks website. And people have Whoa. confirmed that those pages have indeed been taken down. Whoa. Mhm. Ooh, it just, I, do you smell that? I smell it now. It, that smells funky. That smells funky like that old pair of socks that you found that are still fucking moist. Yeah. Ooh. And again, rather... he was, he was in technically incarcerated for how long before he decides to take this plea deal? 15 years? I don't think, well, I don't think he was I don't think he was in prison for 15 years. He's been immobilized. Yeah. I want to say for at least 15 years. I might be off. But I mean the whole thing in Sweden and everything began in the in the 20 aughts. Was it 2000? Did it really? I don't know. I could look it up. It's, I'm trying to figure out the best way to pinpoint it. Let's see, he the sought city. asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy in London in 2012. Okay. And he lived and he lived in the embassy until 2019. So that was when they came and got him Seven out of the years. embassy and stuck him in Belmarsh. And then five years. So it's been 12 years. Yeah. Not 15. Yeah. Okay. I was off. I mean, if you can call being confined to an embassy prison, I guess. It, definitely minimum security at that point. Well, we know through the Spanish authorities and their investigation that um, the Americans, and you, you know, it was totally bugged up and surveilled the whole time. and It just... There's so much weird stuff going on there. And I I like to take the pearls of truth and the grains of truth that he has spit 
at face value. But I realized that not everything in the Assange pie is kosher. And now I'm, you know, I'm not so much got questions about the pie filling as I do about the crust now. So, right. Yeah, I got some research to do there. It's not like a regular British porky pie that we're talking about here. Anyway, <clears throat> that's a thing in England, a pork pie. Yeah. Big thing. Yeah, they're and, quite and good. I'm, I'm getting that funky pork pie smell. Anyway. No, yeah. I mean it. But, it would not surprise me at all. It it falls right in line with everything else, you know. It again going back to the great and powerful James Evan Pilato. They yeah. give us our heroes and they give us our villains, and that's one hundred percent across the fucking board. It, it, it's not only a Hegelian dialect; it's a Hegelian cast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's see here. We can't dabble around and give a give a live splash of music. It works for radio better than video, I think. Because, uh, well, again, yeah, because we can't actually see you on the video. So my my roadie, yeah, because I didn't turn around my keyboard and I've still got my headphones plugged in. Just all wired up here. Wired to the max. Yeah, for like two or three days. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn. Let's see here. I'm going to try to play this song, Ripple. Um, I don't think I've played it live. You, you, wrote, you wrote this song for XRP? No, Ripple. The song Ripple. Right. Um, I don't know. Uh, I ended up writing that. I don't know. I just woke up one day and just started playing. There it was. That happens. I've heard of that happening before. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can't remember how it goes. <laughs>
Damn. <laughs> I hope the, the That's pretty good. In all right. Mostly, yeah. Like your your mic does this weird thing where like it'll it'll be uh coming in loud and clear and then it's like oh we're too loud we got to fucking we got to lower it a little bit so it'll dip down <laughs> and then it'll come back up later for no fucking reason it's whatever man that is technology in 2024 ladies and gentlemen you just roll with it yeah, fuck this it. is liberty it radio yeah fuck it we ball <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that from Joe and Assange. And, you know, I, I've actually written. I'm surprised like, you didn't hear about it. That's that's three. what's kind of blowing me away. I'm like, wait, how can you how can you be alive in the last 72 hours and not know that Julian Assange is not in Belmarsh prison anymore? Like, as far as like all of my feeds, and granted, that may be the exception instead of the rule. But, like, it was fucking all over it. Well, was I've actually one day, been listening Twitter to... Twitter was uh, nothing but fucking Julian Assange. I was like, I just, I can't even take it. Twitter was nothing but fucking. That You had me right there, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> um, and, that, and that, you know, Twitter is pretty much a, a, a chief source of scat. They have that on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of it. But um, why do you think they call it scuttlebutt? So during the six days where I've been driving around, I've just had the phone Bluetooth into the Silverado super system, listening to Drizzle interview Wheezy and Corey and all the stuff that, you know, where it's, you know, long format, you know, two, three hour stuff. I've just not had the time where I'm just sitting and mm. driving to listen to it until the last six days. So, you know, I've been in a Liberty radio, um, bubble. alternate world bubble, yeah. just doing my thing, delivering. I don't food think that's a bad thing. Wild. And, uh, I did let, you know, put it on the radio a couple times and heard like news feeds, but, Never heard any mention of Joel and Assange. Well, yeah, because we were on mention, the air. I did hear mention of the. Um, no, I'm talking about when I put on regular radio. Ah, uh, but some of the mainstream was like. Uh, I was actually just talking about that right before you just came back. Uh, some of the mainstream was just like completely ignoring it. Yeah, they were just talking about the uh, debate. Or whatever you yeah. call this sham back old uh, total. Well, that's shame. see, that's I think the other reason why it happened this week is because it was going to be very easy to put it out there for the people that needed to see it, right? Because it's if you think about it from from like a, a strategic perspective, you know, and not just oh, an they gotta of make the it moment like type thing. It's right, still people, an and it's still legitimate, folks. It, that we're still doing this thing, right? It's still totally for real reels, right? Right, right. It's all fucking stage play. Right. This is this is to l- deliver that shot of hopium to people who are about to jump off the bandwagon to keep them going a little bit while longer. Right. This is grabbing the rat out of the water. And drying it off and warming it up before you toss it back in. Yeah. Yep. And then it's really easy to cover up with uh, your most important debate in the history of ever. Which is exactly what they did. That was the playbook. So fake. Yep. And I can't believe we're almost to July... And we're still going to do this giant douche versus turd sandwich? No, I still think they're going to switch it up. I, I, don't I don't know how yet, and I don't know when. I just I don't see Biden nor Trump, either of those being a choice this November in the fake election for our fake government with fake candidates. 
but go cast your total for real votes. Maybe. I mean, I definitely don't see Biden making it all the way to November. Especially not the way that thing looked tonight, which was definitely not Joe Biden. I don't know what that was. Looked kind of like the Crypt Keeper. A little bit. That was Clone 12. Yeah. Like, that was that was hideous. I, I could swear I saw like lesions that were being covered up by makeup. I'm not I'm not 100% yeah. sure on that, but that was kind of what it looked like. Man. Like that was not that was not uh that was not Joey B that was on stage. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I, I mean, don't know what this, that was. At this point to even engage and and still pretend like you're a deep intellectual type person and to try to engage in a rational logical discussion with someone about american politics to me it's 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 reached the level of like trying to remain serious when you're arguing with someone about whether or not the fucking easter bunny is real it's just yeah. like uh, you're you I, I I just I I can't I can't do it anymore. I mean, whether you're shaking pom poms for Cheeto dick or scratch and sniff poopy pants, it just I can't. or even some other fucking alternative. Like let let's fucking. let's be fucking real real here. All right, oh, and wait, let's wait, let's bring in our third fine, right right yeah because yeah, she's got Vader. a shot to win yeah. Or fucking uh, the the Kennedy boy brain. with the brain worm, brain. right? Yeah, yeah worm brain. Oh my god! It really has. It's like wrestling. It is like wrestling. It's but, exactly like wrestling. You know why? Because that's the level like, of intelligence that the American public has been reduced to. Yeah. Right, the shit that we used to watch as kids on fucking Saturday afternoon and and fucking whenever else it was on. That's what passes for like legitimacy these days. That's where we are. I mean, you know, the 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 the, the takeaway from tonight is meet the new owners. Oh shit! <laughs> They're the same as the it's old. It's almost owners. midnight on the East Coast. I didn't even realize. Yeah. Meet the new owners, same as the old owners. Meet the new boss, same, same as, as the, the old boss. boss. Oh, I gotta make a video for my Baba O'Reilly remix. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Shit's flying everywhere now. <laughs> I just had probably to... good. That we're... it's about time to get off. Yeah, the it's, air. it's about time to go. I got CDRs flying off the. Oh my shelf. god! I guess it's time to make an album. But um. What was I saying? I lost my train. Baba O'Reilly. Oh, yeah, the who? Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. It's always been fake, and we've always been owned by the Zionists um, who own the British because the Zionists are British. The Zionists are not Middle East. Well, the British created the Zionists. Right. Out of whole cloth. It's a City of London subsidiary. Correct. Always has been. Always will be. Always will be. Yeah. (laughs) So... And and that's the rest of the news. Um, and with that, folks, which don't look at Chicago safety, uh, I will be taking a hiatus next Thursday and the following Thursday. Oh, yeah. Well, traveling. we're off the air next week. Uh, uh, this is your traveling. reminder, folks. No Liberty Radio broadcast next week. As well, uh, next Monday and the following Monday, Peasants Podcast will not be on the air live. If I can find a way to rebroadcast one of the older uh, Peasants podcasts, um, like I've talked about before, I'll try to set that up uh, for the following Monday because I had to cancel this past Monday night due to work. Um, But uh, everything will settle back in around the middle of July. It's summertime get back into the routine but in the meantime we're going to pause from the broadcast schedules 
uh, and do a little bit of that IRL type shit. So, That's right. Uh, and and if you'd like to meet uh, the uh, the radio duo in person, Third Eye Carnival, get your tickets. That's See right, you July fifth and sixth, Pueblo, Colorado. Tickets are still available. Bye-bye. I know we've been uh, we've been floating the rank uh, the link through the various live stream chats. Uh, and artistcollective.com and uh, it'll get you there well that's all for tonight we'll return you to your regularly scheduled lives now